Verse 16, 10 cubits shall be the length of a board, and a cubit and a half shall be the width of each board. If a cubit is approximately 1.5 feet, then these boards would be about 15 feet tall and about 27 inches wide. The thickness of them is surprisingly not specified. However, Josephus says that they were four fingers thick. So they'd be really big pieces of wood and they'd be very heavy and they'd take a lot of effort to put up. Verse 17, two tenons shall be in each board for binding one to another. Shete yadot la keresh ha echad meshulavot isha el achota. The literal Hebrew here is completely different than the translation. It literally says, two hands to the boards, each one fitted woman to sister. From this, the words of our English translations have to be deduced. The tenons, or literally hands, were most probably pieces of board which would extend from the bottom of it and would fit into the silver sockets to be mentioned in verse 19. Whether they were round dowels or whether they were square or rectangular pegs isn't stated. The word for binding is shalav, and it's used only two times in the Bible, here and in Exodus 36:22, speaking in exactly the same connotation. It comes from a root word which means to space off. Thus we get the idea of equally distant pegs which are set in order. These would be one to another, or literally woman to sister. Each would be arranged as if they were twins. If we think of the rungs on a ladder being equally spaced, we get a close mental picture of what's being described here. Verse 17 going on. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. Every board of the wall was to be made in identical fashion so that they could be used in any spot along the wall. 